Hi everyone, I'm Henry Cope, a PhD student at the University of Nottingham. And while everyone else is probably finishing their projects, I'm actually just getting started. So I'll be working on this project until mid-November. So the title of the project is Omic Phenotypic Pipeline for Space Biology Data. And so space biology is where we send Earth-based life to space to see how it adapts, basically. So that could be to look at health effects of spaceflight and to try and improve that. Or it could be, um, in the case of plants, for example, to look at how best to grow plants in places like the Moon and Mars. And so for some context, uh, NASA Gene Lab was established to house the omic data captured from in-flight experiments um, and, for example, past experiments. And so that's things like kind of gene expression, for example. And so NASA Gene Lab, in many cases for the data sets, it processes them and produces kind of results files. So um, differentially expressed genes files, uh, for example. Now, the group I'm working with, um, which is the NASA ALSDA, an Ames Life Science Data Archive group, is looking to do the same kind of thing um, with image and video data captured from uh, space biology experiments. And so I'll be working on image processing and computer vision pipelines to process some of that data. Um, and produce tabular phenotypic data. So for the example in the right, top right, which is plants growing in space, I might be looking at things like uh, the kind of root length and things like that. And then the idea is to use some kind of model, so we're still working on what to use, but some kind of causal inference model, for example, to combine the phenotypic data with the processed omics data, and then hopefully to get meaningful causal relationships, such as which genes uh, might be involved in driving things like root growth in space. Thank you.